What's up, people? For those that don't know, my name is Joey. Most people know me by Snow Rock. So now this one, this is this is this going back. I'm, I'm doing this. This is prison politics from a white Crips perspective. So when you in prison, you have to deal with whatever race. You know what I mean? You know, everything is, you know, when you get in there, if you're Hispanic, you go over with the Hispanics. If you're white, you go over with the whites. If you're black, you go with the blacks. If you're, you know, if you're in between, you go somewhere. <laughs> But that's the thing. Everybody has a spot. And then this was set up by somebody else, not by me. And I didn't agree with it when I came to prison. <laughs> you know, I was I was raised. I was raised in southeast San Diego. I was taken in by the community. I was put on the streets by I had a dysfunctional family. And, you know, I'm saying, you know, that's the way I grew up. Those are people who were there for me, took care of me, taught me, raised me. You know what I mean? And uh so being in prison, even I, I even had one of my one of my homeboys, and, and I didn't realize at the time. I thought he was, you know, saying, you know, was thought I was weak or something. And and uh, uh, really, he was just he was just looking out for me because he knew what I what I was going to be up against and what I was going to have to deal with. And most people didn't. Ex I wasn't I wasn't expected to survive <laughs> a white crip in prison in the nineties. Uh, life expectancy wasn't that long, you know, um, but that's the way it was. And if you was really out there and really living that life, it was, um, I didn't have none. I, I felt I didn't have nothing to lose at the time, you know? So it was just, I, I, I was on my own. I was, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was living the best, the only way I knew how. And it was by legal means, by doing dirt and doing what I had to do. And where does that always lead? Straight to prison, jail, Whatever you want to call it, however, whatever kind of facility, it's a slave plantation. That's where it leads you, right there, because that's the way they get you. You know, what I'm saying, you know, stuck up in that system. And I was stuck up in the system since I, I've been in and out of incarceration since I was nine years old. Um, and I'm talking about in and out, in and out, in and out. And I've been, you know, what I'm saying, you know. I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm doing the best I can and I'm working, I'm working on it. You know what I mean? It's still, it's still a process because I still have, you know what I'm saying? You know, things that in there, that's the way you're supposed to react. That's the way you have to react. If you want to survive, if you want to live, if you want to, you know what I'm saying? You know, out here, I can't do that. And, 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 you know, you know what I'm saying? Luckily I got support. I got family. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I, I, I've been choosing to make the right decisions because I'm still here. I'm still doing it. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, somebody sees that this is working because I tried everything, every hustle you can think of. I, you know what I'm saying, you know, from stealing and robbing to selling to, to you know what I'm saying, you know, trying to <laughs> whatever I could do, anything I could do, a hustle, I would I would jump on it and be in it. And that was that's what it was. But when you get into prison, it's like, you know, the politics, that's where all that comes into play. And because I didn't go along with the prison politics that was a problem, you know, because, you know, certain race whites uh, considered me a race traitor. I, I was, you know what I'm saying, you know, targeted several times. I was stabbed. <laughs> I've been stabbed several times. I've been jumped. I've been in more fights than I can remember. I've been, it's, let's just, just imagine the word. <laughs> imagine that. Um, <clears throat> but I survived. I'm still here. You know what I mean? You know, and look, I still got a few marbles up in there. <laughs> it's a few of them left. I done dropped a couple screws along the way, but you know what I mean? I didn't need them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm out living my, living my best life. You know, I'm out, you know what I'm saying, you know, dealing with a uh, injury. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back at work soon. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm getting ready to start my physical therapy. But uh, life is good, you know. And and I, every time I, I, I get on this topic, uh, prison politics, <clears throat> I can't really I can't really speak on other people's politics, you know. So I was I was I'm white. I ran with the Crips. You know what I mean? You know, I'm talking about literally, you know what I'm saying? You know, I ran, you know what I'm saying? You know, sailed up with them, you know what I'm saying? Everything. And and, and because of that, I was hated. I, you know what I'm saying? The whites weren't supposed to talk to me or deal with me or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. So I heard different things from different people. I'm not allowed to talk to you. And <clears throat> all it is is, is weak-minded. If you go for it, you know what I mean? You know, I don't know. The whole system, the prison system with the prison politics is set up so that the police keep us fighting uh, amongst ourselves so we can't fight against the police because we outnumber and we could take over at any time but you know what i'm saying as long as you know what i'm saying you know so that's what it's all about you know controlling the population 
it's a lot of things I don't understand about how they do the the things in CDC, like with the the S and Ys and then the fifty fifties and they created all that. When I first came to prison, it was barely any PCs. It was it was like two yards. You know what I mean? It was two prisons and two yards. And then you know what I'm saying? You know it was it just it just kept going and going and going and going. And it it, it started before I got there. You know what I mean? When I first got to prison, an uh, inmate got you. Uh, no, excuse me, a convict because that's the difference. It used to be convicts. Convicts ran the prisons. Not anymore, because ain't no more convicts. Now it's just inmates. Inmates allow them to do, do allow the staff to do whatever they want to do, and that's why it's so bad up in here. And I wish I'm saying I could change some or do something to help something to make it better. <laughs> but uh, you know, what we need to do is break the system. You know what I mean? You know, the, the that that slave system needs to be broken. We don't need to keep locking us locking each other up. But it's profitable. People are it's business. It's big business. So that's why it's going to continue. <laughs> yeah. But prison politics, you know, when, when you're inside, every race has their own rules, you know, and you if you're with that group, you have to go along with that. That group's rules, if not, then, you know, what I mean, in some situations, you know, what I'm saying, you know, it's 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 either that or you get bloody, you know, and that's literally the way it is in some places, because, you know, some people, this is this is the. This is that's their life inside prison. That's the way I felt for a long time. This is my life. This is where I live. This is all I have. I didn't have nothing else, you know. So I was just up in there, and you know, I'm, I'm gonna make the best. But what I what I'm working with, you know, what I mean, with the best I can, I'm, I'm gonna make it the best I can. Well, what I'm working with, that's it. Because it doesn't matter where you put me. A cage is a cage, whether it's locked up. You know, what I'm saying with nothing. Or, you know what I'm saying, you know, in Donovan and with a PIA job and a, and, a, and a runner, you know what I'm saying, you know, coming up to the visiting room every weekend. And, you know what I mean, you know, it was it was nice. <laughs> Donovan was the best time I did. But, you know, there was, you know what I'm saying, other times where you sitting up in that hole 23 hours a day, you know, you get nothing to shower every 72 hours. And this, uh, all that time that I did, all the time that I spent incarcerated was a learning lesson for me. But, you know what I'm saying, I learned a lesson. I don't need to do no more. I'm good. You know what I mean? You know, I'm going to do something else because this ain't working. But now I'm out here. I got a job. I Man, and I think about it, man, if, if if you was out here the whole time I was away in prison, if someone was out that, that, that much time, then he would have retirement, re pension, and all kinds, all the work motherfucker put in. <laughs> but, you know, that's not the way it is. You know what I mean? You know, so what are you going to do? The hustling and, and and all that that ain't that ain't the lick. Hustling is cool, but you know what I'm saying you got to be legit. You got to stay off. You know what I'm saying you know off the look. If you follow the rules, pay taxes. I remember seeing this lady, and she was she was selling marijuana. <laughs> yeah, big time. Uh, she was she was out of Colorado, so she was one of the first ones to get into the legal cannabis in Colorado years back. And I seen her on a on a on an interview with. She had pictures with Obama. She had pictures with uh, Clinton. And I'm like, damn. And she's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They raided one of my spots one time. And then they gave me all that stuff back, you know what I'm saying? Because, oh, I paid taxes on it. So if I done something wrong, you took money for it too. So you did something wrong. She was smart. But, uh, nah, back to prison politics. Uh, you got to be careful with any politics. Like I said, I, f I feel, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, most politicians and in, 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 in situations that I know of, they just trying to feather their own nest. Same in prison with the prison politics. If you think about it, the shot caller, the big dog, the one who's in the back, most of the time, he ain't fisting to do the shit he asked somebody else to do. That's the difference. That's the difference. Because, you know what I mean, you know, you shouldn't ask nobody to do nothing if you ain't willing to do it your damn self, you know. And that's just me. That's me, you know what I'm saying? You know, my take on it. <laughs> my full <four> sense. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hey, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that share. Hey, send us to somebody. Somebody might need to hear. Holla at your boy.